Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Spider Fam. Budget $40. About the buyer, I am a businessman. Industry, art, and design. Description I'm interested in building a live streaming app similar to Netflix and Amazon. Something I could do, have original content and streaming live, plus stream content from other streaming apps. I want a professional designer who can design the app within 4 days. My budget is fixed. Contact me if you can make it done within 4 days. Thanks. I really don't think they're gonna find somebody to make them a live streaming app for a budget of $40, let alone somebody that would be willing to stream content from other streaming apps because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. This next one is by Oddway. Hi there, just confirming you are good to start your unpaid trial week on Monday 13-3, 7 am to 11 am, 2 pm to 7 pm for stable hand duties. Please wear work boots, jodhpurs, short sleeve shirt, no tank tops, sunscreen water bottle. I will provide a blank cap on Monday for you. Please confirm. Thanks, beggar. Hi, beg. I didn't realize you would want me to work a full week without pay. What days and times is this trial for, please? Kind regards. Yes, the trial is for you to shadow and learn from my stable staff duties and teaching if you're suitable to give you an opportunity to see if you like the job. Normally it's Monday to Friday, but it's voluntary. You don't have to and understand if you don't want to. Just let me know. Sorry Beg, am I applying for a job as a stable hand or are you looking for volunteers? Little confused. I appreciate I have to learn from your staff, but I have been a stable hand for over 4 years plus and 45 hours unpaid seems somewhat excessive. Okay, no probs. I've got another 3 juniors to interview and we can do a trial over the next 3 weeks for the position. I'll get back to you after they have done their trial. I'm really under the impression that this person is just looking for volunteers. They're not looking to pay anybody, but their guys to get those volunteers is providing the training. This next one is from Rendered Precision. Me and my mom used to raise chickens and want to do it again, since times are very hard just for the moment. So we don't have money and this will be our main food source. With that said, we're looking for fertilized eggs for hatching. Please be purebreds, no barnyard mix, or even chicks or chickens, but remember, we are poor, we can't do much. Silkies, Bantam Brahma, Bantam Cochin, any Bantams really, Lavender Oprington's, Sarama, or any other non-Bantams that's good layers and sweet. Please, this would be more than a blessing. I also have something someone may be interested in to trade. If you're wanting them as your main food source, then why would they have to be pure bread? That is a very good point. One has to wonder if all they're going to do is use them to eat, why do they have to be specialized? Something tells me they want to try to breed and sell. This next one is by Vat Wako. Do you like soup, stew, or chili? I can double my lunch prep this week. I can't do soy or shellfish. Let me know what sort of food you like and I'll think of something. That sounds yummy. You made me hungry. Not to be rude, but I've got a sensitive stomach, so I'm not sure if I'd eat that. I was hoping to see if someone would help me pay for a meal. Maybe something like pizza or I don't know. Sorry, it's just an ED thing. Thank you though. Why is it that these specific beggars honestly think that because somebody posts a post like this that they will stop everything and just completely cater 100% to the beggar? I, I just, it never ceases to amaze me, but they just don't seem to learn either. This next one is from Bedtime Best Time. Looking for a four and a half to five and a half year old child whose mom needs a break two times a week. Read entire thing before responding. It's not for most. My daughter needs a play buddy. I decided that a good way to accomplish this is through babysitting two times per week. I'm going to start with one time to see how it goes. Here's the rub. No junk food in my house. 
We do mostly organic whole foods here. No special instructions. And I'm looking for kind and mindful children who will help her grow into a kind adult. And the other way around. I have lots of large windows, down to the floor, throughout the house so your child has to be used to windows. Mindful parenting children most welcome. That's all. We can do a repetitive thing or a one-time thing. Whatever works for everyone. Socializing is my goal. $20 an hour, food and activities included. I have an extra car seat for any emergencies. You must have your emergency contacts on a piece of paper. Hopefully I won't ever need any of it. Location is 5 minutes from the entrance of here. Start date, week of May 16th. Your choice has to work for both. We can both change our minds at any time. If we get comfortable around each other, I can take the kids to here, park, etc. But at first, my house only. I have a backyard with a large trampoline for which rules apply to prevent injury. If all sounds good, put me in your contacts calendar for later. Thanks. A few minutes into this post and I already know which kind and thoughtful sitters not to hire in the future. Thank you. For those with normal questions, no, $20 for me to take care of your child as any sitter would, and to teach them along my own child is not asking for much, from those who this post concerns that is. This was clearly stated. Let's pretend I make over $100 an hour in my daily life. $20 an hour is not much then. It's all a matter of perspective and where you are in life. When I say that this is not a job for me, it means that I have other means of supporting myself and this is simply what I choose to do with my time. And just because I choose to do this with my tilk does not mean that you will not be charged for my time. For all the lovely commenters, yes, if no one chooses to take me up on my proposition, it is okay with me. So please stop junking up my comment section to boost your ego. Why is it that this is getting under your skin so much? Think about it, and you don't have to tell me your answer. Thank you. It's probably because you sit there and stay socializing, and while you do claim you'll be watching the kids, I feel like in the end it's literally more to help your daughter develop, and... I don't know, maybe your own ego? I don't think anybody took them up on this offer. Our next one is by House K Lord. $125, IKEA Black Mom Full Double Bed Frame. Hello, is this still available? Yeah, it is. Would you take a hundred? I'm firm at a hundred and twenty-five. A hundred, because I'm kind of far. I'm half an hour. Sorry, I have a lot of messages of people interested at 125. I'll come today. Come on, man, a hundred. I can sell today for a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Yeah, but I can come right now. A hundred. Huh? The bed belongs to my wife. I spoke to her about your offer and she said she'll give you a special price. One hundred and fifty dollars. How about I fuck your wife and I'll give you a hundred and fifty like the cheap escort she is. Estrogen filled pussy. I don't even understand how this beggar would be able to come up with the $150 to pay for fucking this person's wife considering they're having a really hard time coming up with the original $125. This next one is by Slow You Too. Thanks for the offer, but $11 an hour is just not feasible for me. I'm getting paid $20 to $25 an hour on average right now, so I cannot drop it down as I progress. You agreed on 21 earlier, so I thought that would be your ideal pay for me for an hourly pay. Nonetheless, thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you. I offered $13 an hour. This is seven times the average wage in India. No counter offer? An average wage doesn't mean that you can base everyone's pay off that metric, considering the average wage of a billion people. Do you have a counter? I'd like to work with you. Best I can offer is 18. I would expect the quality of work to be extremely high. Will that be the case? Similar to that of a trained professional. Quality will be similar to my previous works. Can you offer a POC, pilot price, and we do an evaluation after 30 or 60 days? I'd love to work with you. 
That'd be $18 too. Thanks. I'm super confused by your pricing strategy. What's the confusing part? Went no contact after that. I don't understand how this beggar thinks that this person's going to jump at their opportunity to basically go and leave where they're currently making more money to go make less money and probably do more work. Only a moron would do something like that. This next one is by Ashkor Draxson. Hello, I'm an indie developer on a small budget. I must say right away at the moment that I'm using the version of the asset that I downloaded from the pirate site. I always do this during development of any game because I'm not sure that my game will reach the release faster than I have a burnout. However, I did most of the mechanics for the game. It's a matter of small. As soon as the time is close to release, I will definitely pay for your asset, honestly. I have two questions. One, world generation. I understand how most of the mechanics work in your asset, but generation is a mystery to me. How can I add different structures to my game? For example, a house or a well. Also, I will need to generate objects by location that can be searched. How can I do such a thing with a generator? 2. As planned, each new player should appear at the entrance to the bunker, in a small hall. This is the only structure in the game of this type. I saw that in the voxel terrain script you can create spears, set the type of blocks for individual areas, and simply change the block ID. How to make it better? Through voxel terrain methods or through generation? By the way, most likely I will build the bunker itself in Pro Builder, and you will need to generate an empty space around the bunker, since the procedural generation of the terrain takes time, and the finished object will be from the beginning of the scene, and you won't have to fool around with the spawn points. The bunker itself and a small part of it surrounding it will not be destroyed. The fact that this beggar is just so forthcoming right off the bat that they're using a pirated version of this asset and then going to ask for help, I, I, I just I can't help but wonder what was going through their head. They claim they're going to pay for it honestly, but they haven't yet, so I don't think they ever would. And our final one is by no actuator 5149 I work at a locally owned Mexican restaurant. The owners are two of the most kind, compassionate, and selfless people I've ever met. The reader board outside of the restaurant reads as follows. Hungry? No money? We will feed you. And they mean it. If you're hungry and have no money, you can eat for free. There are a couple exceptions to this. 1. There is a limited menu available. 2. It must be to go. It's assumed if someone doesn't have money for food, they don't have money for a tip. That's not fair to the servers. Last week a family of four came in saying they saw the sign and would like to order food. I gave them the limited menu to choose from. This is the conversation we had. I don't see fajitas on here. I want shrimp fajitas. The only free options available are what's on that menu, sir. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't like these options. Can you ask your boss if I could get some fajitas? I had to text my boss. Surprise, surprise. He said no. I'm sorry. He said he cannot do fajitas for free. He then rolled his eyes and looked at the menu again. You guys need to expand the options on this menu, but I guess I'll take this and this. I rang their order in and said I would bring it out to them when it's ready. We want to eat here. We need a table. I'm sorry, we only do to-goes on the free items. That's not going to work for us. We want to eat here. I'm sorry, but our policy is if you order off the free menu, you can only take it. Then this guy has the balls to cut me off by raising his hand up in the air. He then herds his family to the closest booth and sits down. I follow and explain the policy again. I told them that if they want to dine in, that's fine. I would cancel their free order and they can pay for their food. This got them out of the booth. The guy then demanded he speak to the owner. I again tell him he's not available. I give him a business card instead. He actually says, Thanks for nothing! After I hand him $50 worth of free food. 
This asswipe actually left us a one-star review on Yelp. The nerve of some people astonishes me. God, to be a choosing beggar and super entitled all wrapped into one, that's just a recipe for destruction. I don't even understand how this guy functions, let alone even manage to have a family with the way he carries himself. Good on your owners for being the kind people that they are, and I'm glad you stuck to policy. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.